Orville and Mary Jane Miller have been dairy farmers their entire lives. Mary Jane's father passed the farm in Reno County down to them, and they plan to pass it on to their son. It's very uh, demanding. I mean, every morning, my wife starts at 1.30 every morning milking cows. Um, there's a calf born virtually every day, every other day. And so there's just a lot happening all the time. The Millers milk 170 cows a day, a process that takes four hours at a time. And while they know their business is cyclical, times are really tough right now. Here a couple of weeks ago, I, I went to sit at my desk to pay the bills. And I just started crying because I go, how am I going to cover all the bills? Farmers are making less per gallon of milk now than they did 20 years ago. They blame an increase in milk production combined with sharply lower exports. The cost to produce a gallon of milk is higher than what a farmer sells a gallon of milk for, meaning most dairies can't even break even. The numbers just don't work out for us at all. Every month we borrow money, pay the bills, and I think it's going to get better again next year, probably. Milk prices have been so low over the last five years, the number of dairy farms here in Kansas has dropped from 400 to 290. The number of dairy farms are also dropping nationwide, down from 57,000 in 2008 to just over 40,000 this year. Many farmers are becoming so discouraged they're taking their own lives something Stephanie Eckrote, executive director of Kansas Dairy, doesn't want to happen here. I pray every day that we don't see that. Eckrote gets calls from across the state, farmers who can't get any more loans and don't know if they can stay afloat. She advises them to keep their heads up, stay positive, and talk about it. I just encourage them to talk to their other farmers that they work with. Um, talk with your families, try to work it out and try to make it happen. The Millers try to cut costs and diversify, raising crops to help supplement their income. This new deal is an especially great victory for our farmers. And now a new trade deal that's still in the works would allow the U.S. to sell more milk, butter and cheese to Canada. I tend to be the optimist. Orville and Mary Jane will keep going, relying on their faith. I put those things out of my mind and I say, you know, I'm going to be in this for the long haul and I'm going to be one of the survivors. I'm going to be there when things turn around. And advice from Mary Jane's 94-year-old father. I guess it's just the advice, you know, from my dad and watching him over the years and and he kept right on plotting and and I want to keep doing the same thing.